I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter hook. You can use any hook size of your choice, but this is the hook that I prefer because my the yarn I'll be using is quite lightweight and this is just perfect for it, but you can use any hook of your choice. Um, I'll be using a 100% acrylic yarn. This yarn is widely available in Nigeria and I've left a, a link in the description to where you can get crochet hooks and yarn for your crochet journey. So to use this yarn, I like to take two strands of it. So I either take from the one that goes around and the one that's inside the yarn, or I use two balls of yarn and just use the two strands to make it a little thicker because the yarn is quite lightweight. So when I double it, it is thicker and easier to use. So I just place them together like that. To make a slip knot, you take the yarn, the shorter end of the yarn, and you place it on your two fingers, just like this. Make, wrap it around and make an X shape. Use your thumb to hold on to that X shape. Pull up that loop that you just made on your fingers. Pull it out of your fingers. Take the longer end of the yarn and pull it through that loop and tighten it by tugging on the shorter end that's your slip knot it's easy to take off it's easy to loosen it so you just pull it like that so you take the yarn make a cross with it like this use your thumb to hold on to the cross pull up the loop you made on your fingers take the longer end of the yarn pull it through the loop tighten with the shorter end as simple as that then you take your hook your crochet hook face it downwards that the hook is pointing downwards and the straight edge is upwards and you put it through the slip knot you pull on the ends the longer and the shorter ends to tighten the slip knot around the hook so you also leave some space for the hook to easily move around because you'll be pulling the hook through this loop there are two ways to hold the crochet hook you can either hold it in the knife hold the way you would hold a knife or the pen hold the way you would hold a pencil or a pen for me i prefer to hold the hook in the knife hold because it's stronger and i feel it just creates a little more tension because i like my work tight how to hold the working yarn the working yarn is the yarn that is still attached to the yarn ball so i take my pinky finger and i clip it within the, the pinky finger and the finger beside it I take my index finger and I do the same thing I did with my pinky finger so I'm sort of holding the yarn around my fingers so let me just show you again I take my pinky finger and my index finger and I tag the yarn in them and clip them like so so that the tension is just right and I'm tugging on it just enough use your thumb to hold the loop the slip knot where your hook is to create the right tension so you yarn over you just basically wrapping your hook around the yarn and then you pull through with this yarn through the loop that was on your hook and that's one chain stitch yarn over pull through the loop the second chain stitch yarn over pull through the loop the third one yarn over pull through four yarn over pull through five yarn over pull through basically taking the crochet hook wrapping it around the yarn and pulling it through the chain so that's the sixth chain stitch so for this sample we'll be chaining 15 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is your chain stitch, foundation chain. To make the single crochet stitch, you will chain one. That one serves as the first single crochet. So now there are two chains, apart from the one on your hook. The first one, you can see it's right there. That's one and that's two. So you insert your hook into the second chain from the hook without counting the loop on the hook. And then you yarn over, pull through the chain. You have two loops on your hook, one, two. You pull through, yarn over and pull through those two loops. That's your first single crochet. Insert your hook into the next chain and you do that into all the chains across the foundation chain so you have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through do that till the end of the foundation chain so I've gotten to the end of my foundation chain. Insert my hook, yarn over, two loops on my hook. You can see that. One, two, yarn over, pull through. And you've successfully finished your first row of single crochet. Now you can slow down the video and watch that again if it was a little difficult for you and then you can come back to do the row two. Now, I'm only going to do two rows of the single crochet, but it's basically the same thing over and over again while you're doing a pattern that has to do with single crochets alone. So for the second row, you chain one, turn your work, you skip that first hole that you see there, insert your hook into the second one from the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's how the single crochet stitch goes. So I'll just continue that till the end of the second row. And that's it, you've made your first single crochet stitches. Thank you for watching my video. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share to your other crochet friends, and see you in the next one. Bye.